Training camp is the time for a team to gel together. This year, they'll do even more of it with the absence of a preseason or even joint practices. When you're going against your own teammates day in and day out, things start to feel a little, monotonous. Being the fierce competitors they are, most NFL players don't settle for monotonous. That's why usually, they'll try and figure out who won that day of practice. Sometimes it's a conversation among individuals but a lot of the time, it's between sides of the ball. Media members watching practice will have the same conversations, did you see that interception? What about that route so and so ran? That was a bomb right to him in the end zone. With 14 padded practices this preseason, I want to now try to figure out who will win the majority of them, offense or defense. The offense has a lot of new, yet established, faces. The defense is going into their second year together after returning all of its starters. Offense is usually flashier as it is, especially in camp when contact is limited. But the defense has the opportunity to set the tone. So who will it be? That's where senior writer and editor Scott Smith comes in during the last installment of our Camp Countdown series. After all, camp is here. As a note, we may pick the same side of the ball. See all other nine questions we've answered over the past couple of weeks below. Tuesday, August 4th. Who, wins, training camp? Offense or defense? Today's question, who, wins, training camp? Offense or defense? Carmen, I'll warn you, I'm much more let's say, defensively inclined, when it comes to football. I think it's probably a symptom of growing up outside Chicago where, much like it was here in Tampa, defense was king. The constant chess match of the defense trying to remain two steps ahead of an offense has always fascinated me. And now that the Bucks have a defense that is going into their second year intact, I can't help but think that gives them a leg up this preseason. The offense will obviously be the focal point for many with the addition of quarterback Tom Brady and tight end Rob Gronkowski. But there will be a learning curve as the two get used to their new team, and figure out just what to do with all those weapons. Of course, the defense will be learning the tendencies of their new quarterback and they are not under any circumstances allowed to touch him, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that Bruce Arians tirade if you do, but there are still plays on the ball to be made. Should they figure out a way to disrupt Brady's rhythm and the hum of his offense, I'd argue that's pretty darn impressive, especially for such a young group. I also think you have more players on that side of the ball ready to make the leap, Scott and I just talked about on Monday. You have defensive tackle Vita Vea, who had a quietly good season last year, looking to put more of an exclamation point on his game from the interior.